Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having uh, car and you want to know okay how to tell if uh, rear shocks are good or bad stay with us we'll cover that today now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos now if you need to buy any parts to use for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain how to tell if rear shocks are good or bad on your car we have that handy soon other that we'll be demonstrating on so usually guys all we have to do look at your strut okay the first symptoms usually when they start going bad that will be probably i would say 70 percent of the time you will have oily surface on the strut you may have oil and dust built on uh, on the bottom of the strut uh, this one will be because the strut will be losing pressure and oil uh, and eventually guys the first sign will be oiling on the outside that's the most common one usually about 70 percent of the time you have oil on the outside and uh, dust will accumulate on top of it that means that the strut will go bad uh, pretty soon another thing you may feel your car really unstable and high speeds and you wonder why pretty simple guys one thing is at high speeds actually uh, the car okay needs to have really good struts that's why supercars have even better struts but uh, at higher speed the car if it feels bouncy on the highway if you're taking a curve turn and the car feels kind of like floating and shaking in the back okay it's a bad shock most likely another thing if you hit a pothole or a bump on the road and you feel the rear tire bouncing all over the place and then you kind of like feel even the steering wheel moving a little bit and the car trying to uh, move a little bit that's a sign that uh, you have a bad strut bouncing tires is uh, a sign of bad strut another thing by that bouncy tires can be cause uh, can cause actually an even tire wear you can have low high spots on the tire you may have an even tire wear funny tire wear as well another thing let's say you're driving and all of a sudden you hit the brakes and all of a sudden the front end of the car really dips okay this is because the rear will come loose all of a sudden nothing will be holding it the whole weight will be transferred to the front and you have reduced stopping ability too so it's super dangerous to drive with bad uh, rear bad shock first the car is unstable second even braking is compromised quite a bit as well and another thing if you accelerate all of a sudden okay and you feel the rear sinking okay most likely you have bad, uh, bad uh, strut shocks as well so those are some of the most common things that you can tell if rear, sh uh, rear shocks are good hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you next time